the CBB's garden and I found lots of cool bits and bobs on the floor, like these leaves. Now, if you do go out into the garden, maybe get a grown-up to help you because there's lots of things that you could find. These leaves, which I'll add to my spider's web here, and some feathers, like this, and already it's looking pretty colourful. Right, well, I'm going to finish this off whilst you join Mr Maker. <laughs> No, someone's left footprints on my floor. Yes, and they're too big to be mine. Look, look at that. So, come on then, own up. Who's left their muddy footprints behind, eh? Who was it, huh? Uh, no one prepared to admit it, eh? Well, don't worry, I'll look into that later. But I have to say, these footprints have given me an idea. Try setting your footprints in stone and make them look really old in a stone picture. Let's make it! We'll need some things from the doodle drawers. Three pieces of card. Some ripped up bits of tissue paper. Some white sticky PVA glue. Whoa! And most importantly, you'll need some play sand. You can get that from your local DIY or pet shop. Won't be a minute. I've got it. Whoa! Now, to make your stone pitcher like this one, the next thing you'll need will be, um, uh, oh, that's right, a foot. I'm just popping upstairs to take my shoes and socks off. Now, to make your stone footprint like this one, take one of your pieces of card and draw around your foot with a pen. And then cut this out with some scissors. Now, be careful, because scissors are sharp. So you might want to ask an adult to help you with this bit. Next, use your cut-out foot as a guide and draw around it onto your second piece of card. And then cut this one out too, carefully. Now, take your other piece of card and stick both of your cut-out feet onto it, one on top of the other. And next, cover the whole thing in glue. Next, place tissue paper all over your picture. Scrunch it up and then stick it on. And if you want, you can add extra bits to build up your toes and the other parts of the foot. Now, put it in a tray and whilst it's still wet, sprinkle play sand all over it. Sprinkle off all of your extra sand and look, it's a stone footprint. Wow, 
why not try some other shapes, like a stone hand? It's made in the same way. That is handy. Or how about a stone crab? You can do that by drawing a crab shape onto cardboard. What a little nipper, eh? <laughs> so go on, try making a stone pitcher. They're great! But back to the question, who left these footprints? I did! Got a problem with that? No! No problem! Sorry. <laughs> Who's that snoring? <laughs> These are the shapes. Ah, they're asleep. I've got an idea. Let's wake them up! <laughs> Rise and shine, come on! <laughs> hey, 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 hey! Take it away! What are the rectangles going to make? Can you guess? It's a house! Well done, rectangle! Time to get back on the shelf! <laughs> 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 I love those shapes. They're brilliant! Did you see that big Spocky here? <laughs> oh. Minute make time! Minute make time! Oh, it's minute make time! <laughs> Let's make a torch projector. I'll show you what I mean. Let's turn the lights down. Now, torch projectors are great for shining spooky patterns in the dark, like this spider. The spider's appeared as if from nowhere. Ooh. Let's turn the lights back up. Right, to make a torch projector, you will need a crisp tube with a lid, some black paper, a glue stick, a pencil, some scissors, and, of course, a torch. Now, do you think it's possible to make a torch projector in just a minute? No way! Really? I think it is. Let's find out. OK, I'm going to have to move very quickly, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Here we go, let's make it in a minute! Right, let's get our rectangle of black paper and fold it in half. Now, with our pencil, let's draw a spoiler shape. Like that, like that. Here we go. Now, let's get our scissors. Be very careful with this bit because scissors are sharp. It's time to cut out the spider shape. Now, this is quite fiddly, so you might want to ask an adult to help you with this bit. Yes, this is tricky to do. Be careful! I'm being careful, don't worry. There's just one leg to go. Hurry up! Here we go. You don't want to cut a leg off. Round. And there's our spider shape. Now, let's get 
our glue. Stick with glue on the lid like that. And if you put our torch inside, put it on there, and it's done! I did it! Just in time! You're not wrong. Whew. Let's check it works. Let's turn the lights down. There we go. Now, let's have a look. Where's my spider? There he is. Look, it's a spooky spider. But you don't have to just make a spooky spider. There are lots of shapes you could do, like a spooky bat. Now, if you don't like spooky bats, you could do a star. Oh, that's great. Now, let's turn the lights back up. If you've got more than a minute, you can decorate your torch projectors like this. Torch projectors made in a minute. Why don't you try it? And here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Fold a piece of card in half and then draw half a shape on it. Carefully cut around the lines and then open it out and look! It's a full shape! Stick the shape onto the crisp tube lid and with the torch turned on inside the tube, your projector works! Try making it in a minute! Hello, Mr Maker! Guess what we're making today? Ooh, I don't know. Hmm, let's have a look. <laughs> I'm brown. I'm yellow. Done, everybody. See you next time. Now it's time to frame it. Frame it. Frame it. Now have a look at this. Look at this great exploding firework picture. It's easy to do, but looks so good that you'll be able to frame it. You'll need some dark coloured paper, brightly coloured paint, glue, glitter, and a paintbrush. First, squirt some blobs of paint all around your paper. You don't have to be neat. Now, flick the paint out of each blob with a paintbrush like this. This is great fun. Then make it extra explosive. Use your paintbrush to splash some sticky white PVA glue all over your picture. Now shake some glitter over it. Shake it all off and wait for it to dry. What a great firework picture! Why don't you try it? And when it's all done, it looks really explosive. Kaboom! What a great way of making a really clever picture. Now all that's left to do is... Frame it! Doesn't that look amazing? Now, have a look at this. Hello, it's only me. These plastic jars and bottles are really useful for keeping things in. That's why I've been collecting some to keep my bits and pieces in. And yes, you've guessed it, they've given me a great idea. 
Impress your friends and fit an ocean into a jar with its very own ship sailing on the high seas. Let's make it! We'll need some things from the doodle drawers! <laughs> a plastic jar with a lid that's big enough for you to get your hand in and out of easily. A straw. Some white rice. Some blue food colouring. Some modelling clay. And some kitchen roll and a glue stick. Whoa! Now this is quite a lot of stuff, but it's worth it because the ship in a jar is a great make. Now first we need to make some sea and for that we take some white rice and add a few drops of blue food colouring. Here we go. And then give it a stir. There! Now whilst that dries we can make our ship. And for this we take our modelling clay and squeeze it into the shape of a ship. Let's get ship shape! There. Now get a square of kitchen roll and cut off two corners, one big and one small. These are going to be the sails, like this. But remember to be careful because scissors are sharp. This leaves you with one big triangle and one small triangle. Now fold them in half. Like that and like that. There. Now remember your straw. We need to very carefully cut two bits off it about the same size. Like that and like that. Now we need to stick our cut out kitchen roll sails to our straw. All done! Next, push the finished sails into the ship. There, and now we need to slide our ship into our jar. Very carefully, in it goes. And press it down. Nice and hard, like that. There! We're nearly done, but there's one thing missing. Remember this? The blue rice. We need to carefully pour this inside, because this is going to be our sea. So let's screw our lid back on. There! Fantastic! So try making your very own ship in a jar. Complete with a lovely realistic blue sea. Not that realistic. Oh, time to go, time to go. Oh. oh, that's it for now. My making time's over, but yours is just beginning. See you soon. It's time to put all this stuff back in its box. If you like making things like Mr Maker, visit bbc.co.uk forward slash cbeebies for more ideas. Jumping Jupiter, it's time to blast off for some adventures with Lunar Jim. I'll be there in no time. Because you never know what strange new things you'll find out in space. Cosmic! 
Let's get lunar with Lunar Jim. Weekdays at 4.45 on the Steve Beebe's channel. Andrew and I are making birthday cards. <coughs> Tip one. <laughs> Andrew, that's nothing. I'm going to make a huge card. Look, check out this piece of card. Hmm. Yes, maybe it's a little too big. I better make it A2 instead. I wonder if Andrew's got any more card I can use. Thank you, Andrew. Ah, tip two. A photo. But which one? I've got loads here. Oh, I know the one. Oh, no, no, this is too dark. No, logos and toys in it. No, this is too far away. Oh, it's awful. Aha. This one looks like a good one. A nice big shot. Mm-hmm. Tip three. Now it's time to decorate it. But what do we need a laptop for? Oh, of course. The CBeebies website, where we can find all of our favourite CBB stars. Ah, I'm starting to get the hang of this. Tip number four. The all-important details. Put the birthday person's first name only and age on the front. Then, on the back of the card, write your birthday message and, most importantly, the date of the birthday. If we don't know the date, we don't know when to show it. Tip five. Ah, yes, of course. A calendar. Send your card in to us nice and early. We need your card four weeks before the big day. The address is CBeebies, PO Box 1234, London W126WX. We do our very best to show as many cards as we can. Sometimes they